Hi, thanks for tuning in to my Steam Party how-to videos. Today we're going to talk about voice chat. It's a new feature that we now support in Steam Party is Steam voice chat. So let's go ahead and talk about how to get that activated in your project. There's a couple config files that we have to change. The first one we want to go to is the default engine.ini. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And what we want to do is uh, create a uh, new category called voice. And we want to go ahead and hit enabled right here. It's true. Now what this does is actually activates the voice engine. Uh, what, there's one other enable that we need to do. There's two of them that we actually have to hook up is under the online subsystem, we have to add a uh, Boolean here for uh, has voice enabled, and that'll go ahead and activate it on the Steam side. So we're gonna use the Steam interface uh, voice chat. All right, so those are the two main ones to get the engine running. The next thing we need to do is go to our default game.ini. Now in this one, we're gonna wanna set if we want to push to talk or not, or just have the uh, mic on all the time. So what I wanna go ahead and do is Copy this over script engine dot game session push to talk and save that out. And basically you could sit there and set that to false. I'm gonna set that to false now. Or true if you wanted to push to talk. We'll go over that also. Um, we'll go ahead and go back to default engine. These will be posted in the YouTube video below. So again, that was the voice enabled equals true and then has voice enabled equals true. So that sets up the configuration. Now we need to go ahead and start up the um, project. There's a couple, there's a variable we have to set inside of the game instance of uh, a global uh, turning chat on and off for the Steam Party plugin itself. So we'll go over that here now. The first thing we want to do is open up your game instance setting down in the bottom left hand corner here. Let me go ahead and find that bad boy blueprints. And I have uh, GI Air Battle. All right, so what we have here is, oh, I'm gonna change that to eight. Uh, voice chat enabled, we will go ahead and turn that on. Now that'll, that'll go ahead and activate everything for the plugin to, to work. So let's go ahead and save it all. I'm gonna go ahead and package the the system up and show uh, show you the result of just turning those uh, variables on. All right, I have fast forwarded through the packaging and deployment, and I have it running on another PC. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and send an invite over. The no first thing you notice is that there's a chat bubble down at the bottom. I'll go ahead and accept on my other computer, and then uh, you see that the chat bubble bubble pops up from anybody that's actually talking. So as now I have another player uh, joining the channel, as he talks, I'll have a, a chat bubble uh, pop up on him also. So you can see that. Now, the other features that are included is, are the uh, mute features. So if we can actually click on these, we have a new feature called mute for the party options and click on that. And then that'll mute anybody talking on that channel. And then I can unmute this um, for any member that joins your party you have individual control for the muting and unmuting of them so and now I'll go ahead and mute this guy and there you have it that's as easy as it gets to install voice into the uh, Steam Party plugin now there's a couple other options we can do we can talk about uh, push a button to talk so let's go ahead and do that now so I'm going to hit X out of this go ahead and disband my party exit and then what we'll want to do is go ahead and go back into our configuration file of the uh, default game and then change that to true. Save that. And then open up our air battle uh, project file once more. And then in there, I'll show you a quick uh, hookup to your player controller. So the first thing we'll want to do is we have two easy functions, a, a start talking, player talking, and a stop player talking. And we bind that to a a input uh, node, node basically. So let's go ahead and open up the, the player example I have. So uh, uh, player uh, menu, PC menu. And then what we'll want to do is come over to the open area and we'll want to go ahead, I'll do it over here next to these other ones here and uh, right click. And then we'll want to go ahead and do C uh, and look for the keyboard for the input. Uh, I'm going to do it for C for chat of course you can choose whatever character you want and it's going to be a little difficult here come on input here we go 
Let's do input keyboard. All right, so it's got a little get creative on it. And here we go to the C. There we go. And then what we want to do is when we push down on the C, we want to talk. And when we don't push down on it or release it, it stops talking. So what we'll do is we want to get the player controller, which is this one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go straight to start talking, start player talking, and stop player talking. There you have it. Now that's the uh, how you need to hook up for uh, voice chat. You change the configuration and you hook up in your player controller a uh, input key such as C. And once you push on it, you're going to be able to talk. And when you let go, it, it stops talking. So that's pretty simple. Now, if you're having problems with getting the inputs to work in like the main menu, some things you may want to watch out for is that the uh, the main menu is being spawned from the player controller uh, with uh, the input mode set to menu instead of game for the this to get passed through through the player controller you need to have the input mode of either game or the hybrid game and UI if you only have the UI input mode you only get the um, uh, there's nothing coming from the player controller itself so there's no input keys it's just the the menu events themselves if you do need to change the setup for the input mode go ahead and in the example I'll go ahead and find where I have references of that and set the main menu. I know that we set the the input mode here inside of this uh, creep party panel. So right now, in fact, this is set input mode for UI. I want to go ahead and change that to um, hybrid input mode, game and UI. We'll go ahead and make that swap out. And then that will fix our problem with the key input. Now, whenever we actually start the game uh, inside of Steam and hit the C button, we'll actually get the input routed through our player controller cor uh, correctly. Uh, the, the other uh, thing that is shipped with this plugin is if we go down to our Steam Party content, uh, now we have the, the, uh, the chat bubble texture here that can be changed out too. If we go into our party slot info, and in this uh, button is here where we would change out the exact image of whatever style you wanted. So again, if you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen here. If you guys have any questions or any problems with the implementation, definitely leave a message below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>